Praise the Lord. Good afternoon. Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. It is a great joy and privilege once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Monday afternoon to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health regardless of our situation in our world. As I always say, beloved and friends, that we are living in a very sick and sinful world. But Jesus Christ himself promised, he says, Lo, I am with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world isn't that awesome isn't that great isn't that mighty beloved and friends that God promised to be with us in every situation in every circumstances in every trial in every testing in every storm in every decision making he said in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by the dwelling. Welcome this morning. Let's give him a big hand. God bless you, Richie. Welcome those who are here, those who are listening to me from your living room, from your dining room, from your kitchen, from your car, from your office, on the street, with your phone, in church, or right here. God bless you richly. Sincerely, beloved and friends, I release a blessing upon your life this Monday afternoon. I pray that God will bless you physically, spiritually, socially, materially, financially, educationally, every area in your life. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper. Let me break it down today. I pray that God will bless your homes. God will bless your marriage. That God will bless your children. God will bless your grandchildren. God will bless your finances. He will bless your business. He will that God will bless you on the job, give you favor and promotion on the job. And whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Beloved and friends, today I cover everyone under the precious blood of Jesus and I build a hedge around your life for the blood of Jesus is so efficacious and the blood of Jesus is so powerful the blood of Jesus is a repellent that destroys every yoke and every bondage and every fetter and every evil and every work of darkness today every spirit of witchcraft oh be a demonic forces evil blights generational curses whether first second third or fourth generational curse I destroy I reverse in the mighty name of Jesus, I break every chain, I break every barrier, I break every fetter in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name, whom the Son set free is free indeed. You are free today in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand. You are free in Jesus' name. Also, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children bread. And the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing. For he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes I am healed. You are healed. We are healed. In Jesus' name, let's give him a big hand today. Praise God, Father God, I pray today that you dip me in the river of liquid fire of the Holy Spirit. Born out every sickness from this mortal man of clay. Born out every sickness, every pain, every disease, every infirmities, every evil, and every work of darkness. As I minister your words today, your words will go forth with dunamis and power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. That many will be healed, many will be saved, many will be blessed, many will be delivered, many will be set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness. Let's give him a big hand today. Praise God. Today's message. Today's message is for believers in Christ who are in difficult situations. Yes, beloved and friends, that's the message today. Who are in difficult situation? It is a sermon for Christians, Christian believers who are in tight situations, hopeless situations today. Hallelujah. Situations that look like there is no way out. No way out. Beloved and friends, hallelujah. And there is no hope. This message today my friends is for those believers who live, live lives are battered and bruised today there is no hope for them my friends I'm here to tell you and bring hope we are going to look at the nature and character of hallelujah the God that we serve today 
praise the Lord, burying friends, family, relatives, we who we love, the God who we, we, we who we adore today. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7. Turn to your Bibles, 7 to 8 tells us, and the Lord said. And the Lord says, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. Yes, and I have heard their cry, praise God, by reason of their taskmasters. For, for I know their sorrows, hallelujah, and I am come down to deliver them. Yes, come down to deliver them out of the lands of the Egyptians and to bring them out of the land unto a good and large land, unto, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. Yes, beloved and friends, unto the place of the Canaanites and he says, and Hittites and the Amorites and the and the, the parasites and the Hivites, Hivites and the Jebusites. God says in his words, hallelujah. Now within these two verses, beloved and friends, we see something today about our Lord and our God. Praise the Lord, beloved family, friends, relatives. Exodus chapter 3, verse 7, 3 to 7 begins with the line, the line and the Lord said the Lord said I have surely seen I have surely seen your affliction or the affliction of my people which are in Egypt yes my friends the Lord sees you in your situation today yes wherever you are God is watching you right now whatever your situation yes he is he is he knows who you are today yes he knows your situation beloved and friends he knows who you are yes who you are today the God who we serve beloved and friends is a God is a God who sees a God who sees that is one of the most powerful characteristics about God today hallelujah he is observant hallelujah and he sees he sees today praise God I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt yes it means all across the world God sees God sees and God is watching over you yes and you may ask why why he would watch over me today yes God is watching over you first Peter chapter 5 verse 7 clearly tells us casting all your cares all your cares upon him yes for he cared for you beloved and friends family relatives loved ones it is because because he cares for you today yes friends and beloved this is one of the most powerful characteristics of a God yes he is and he is observant and he sees he sees he knows so whatever transpires around you yes my friends or your family God is aware of it yes God is aware of it nothing catches God by surprise yes beloved and friends even before it happens yes he is aware of it yes my friends it is very important for you to rest in the fact that God about God today he is a God a God who sees a God who knows a God who cares about me is watching over me and my family today hallelujah everything around me my friends and beloved so the first thing you need to know today today my friends is that God is God is God is a God that sees and sees and knows everything about you Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 then goes on to say hallelujah have have you have heard they cry they're by reason of their taskmasters who is your taskmasters today the second thing we need to know about God is that he is a God that hears he is a God that hears notice my friends how the children of Israel did not suffer in silence yes they did not suffer in silence but rather they cry out to the Lord are you crying out to the Lord today and this is the same for you today here today my friends are you crying out to the Lord with whatever are going you are going through whatever your situation do you have to suffer you don't have to suffer in silence the children of Israel did not keep quiet about the injustice 
injustices they were going through beloved and friends they cried they cried out hallelujah in other words yes my friends they prayed to the Lord their God hallelujah let's give them a big hand to cry out to God to the cry out to God cry out to God pray to him when you are in trouble when you are in trouble cry out to the Lord beloved and friends family relatives loved ones when you have nowhere else to turn cry out to him today cry out to him God specializes in helpless situations yes and he did he did you hear me today God specializes in helpless situations hallelujah don't suffer don't suffer in silent present your knees before the Lord Almighty God so whatever comes your way my friends in life you should not stay silent yes about it my friends don't stay silent about it so whatever comes your way in life hallelujah you should not stay silent hallelujah don't stay silent when you have have a God who listens and answers prayers get on your knees get on your knees and pray about the things you are facing my friends in life yes get on your knees and pray in the, the things you are facing in life whether it's a battle for your health your marriage your financial future or family your your, your family go and approach the Lord thy God in prayer hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus yes beloved and friends he sees yes he yes he sees he does he does know he hears my friends hallelujah yes he does today hallelujah yes let's give him a big hand today and the third thing we see in these two verses is that he knows he knows everything he knows your sorrows God knows what you are going through my friend hallelujah he knows from Exodus chapter 3 verse 7 he tells us for for I know their sorrows he know your sorrows yes there is nothing that will happen in your life that God does not know about you today there is nothing nothing that the enemy will try to put in place hallelujah secretly in your life <clears throat> yes my friends that God does not know about today beloved and friends God knows your sorrows he knows your sorrows he knows the deepest most painful things yes in your life yes my friends he knows those things in your life that you are so scared to share with others yes he knows the deepest things in your life yes that are even too painful for you to speak about today beloved and friends yes he knows he knows he knows the sorrows in your life hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus now the four and final thing this day I want you to know about God is God is found in the verse in Exodus chapter 3 verse 8 he tells us and I'm come down I'm come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians and to bring them up out of the, the land unto the good land yes and a large land hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus our God is a God who acts acts hallelujah and moves he acts and he moves and because of this we should not give up hope don't give up hope in whatever situation you are in in today he is a God a God that takes action beloved and friends he is a God that intervenes he intervenes because of his of this you should not throw in the towel today and defeat yes I give up my friends God is still on the throne hallelujah he is still in charge he is still in charge he is still performing miracles hallelujah praise God he is still Still healing the sick today yes he is still making the blind see today yes he is uh, he is still making a way when there seems to be no way today hallelujah praise God this is the God my friends and beloved he is a God that acts hallelujah he's a God that acts today in whatever situation you're in today you are in you are in remember you were not the first person who has gone 
gone through that situation. Yes, my friends, God has delivered people from similar situations, from worse situations today. And you'll find yourself that you find yourself in today. God is a God that acts, beloved and friends. Remember these words. Remember these words. It is never too late. Never too late for God to move in your situation. Hallelujah. When you go through the sorrows hallelujah, of life, beloved and friends, don't forget. Don't forget you have a God who promises to never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. You, you today, my friends, when the Lord Lawyers, lawyer tell you that you can't win that case. Don't forget her. Don't forget to have a goal who will fight for you. He will fight for you to win the battle when the doctor says, I have done all I can do. Don't, don't forget her. You have a God who will heal. Yes, my friends, he will heal you when your back is against the wall today. Hallelujah. Don't forget. Don't forget you have a God who will be with you through the fires of life. Yes, my friends, who will be with you through the storms of life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. When the whole world turns on you and people who promise to always be there for you, leave, don't. Don't forget, don't forget to have a God who is constant. Hallelujah, praise God. When, when you don't have any more resources, don't forget, don't forget you have a God who says he will supply all of your needs. Hallelujah, he will meet your needs. Hallelujah, let's give him a big hand to you. Praise God, if you need a lawyer. God will be, God will be your lawyer today. If you need a doctor today, my friends, God will be your doctor. Yes, my friends, if you need a friend today, God will be your friend. Hallelujah, praise God. Yes, the friend that stick his Take it closer than a brother. Hallelujah. Regardless of the challenges you face and difficulties you are facing right now. Regardless of the trials and tribulation you are facing, beloved and friends. Regardless of what the devil has done to you. Hallelujah. Remember, remember that God sees, sees. And not only does God see, he hears, he hears your cry. And not only does he hear your cry my friends he knows your pain he knows your pain he knows your sorrows hallelujah he knows what you're going through today beloved and friends he will deliver you he will deliver you he knows everything about you yes and he has not forgotten about you he is God he is a God of acts in all that is happening today my friends in your life you need to know that God is on the throne and he is a God who sees hallelujah who hears yes my friends he knows he knows and he who acts he acts today your situation is not is not hopeless beloved and friends you are not alone hallelujah and when that that appointment time comes God, God will take action. He will take action, beloved. God will take action and deliver you. Yes, my friends, God will take action. Action today, praise God. He will take action. This is a message that I have for you today. The message is for you not to live disheartened, but rather to be encouraged today that God will intervene, intervene in your situation. Yes, my my friends, this is not a maybe today. It's it's going to happen. Get ready, get ready, get ready. God is about to act in your life. Hallelujah. God is faithful today. Hallelujah. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forever. Let's give him a big hand. Hallelujah. Isn't he awesome? Isn't he great and mighty? He's the God that we see has always cared about his people. And you are his people today. Hallelujah. You are his very own child today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are a member of his family today. Hallelujah. You have been accepted into, into the family of God. 
<coughs> hallelujah, and for all and for all eternity, hallelujah, you will spend it. Uh, you will spend eternity with him. Let's give him a big hand today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Blessed be the name. That's powerful today, beloved. Those who are sick, I have a short prayer for you today. Yes, my friends, those who are sick unto death. Hallelujah. I want to introduce you to the healing God today. If you have cancer, you have AIDS, you have COVID, you have diabetes, heart problem, liver problem, lungs problem, kidney problem, a blood issue, a blood dialysis problem, post trait cancer. What is your sickness today? If you're blind, you're deaf, you're dumb, you're lame, today is your day for a miracle. Yes, my friends, if you're suffering with depression, oppression, frustration, anxiety, today is your day for a miracle. Yes, my friends, if you have a migraine headache, if you're demon possessed, if you have arthritis pain in your joints, in your fingers, your elbows, your toes, your knees, every part of your joint, today God's gonna touch you and heal you. If you have a mental sickness. Yes, God is going to touch you and restore your mental sickness. Will you restore sanity, sound mind, and a strong and healthy body? If you have diabetes and your skin and bone, your blood is messed up, God is touching your blood right now. Yes, I see that person with stage 4 cancer. That cancer is eating out your whole inside. If you're feeling a burning right now, it's a work of the Holy Spirit. I feel a tremendous anointing of God, the Holy Spirit here today i'm going to send for that anointing wherever you're watching from the usa the uk canada the caribbean europe any part of this world today is your day for a miracle today is your day for healing today is your day for deliverance today is your day for salvation beloved and friends right now wherever you are in the mighty name of jesus yes there is a strong anointing here jesus christ took 39 stripes upon his back for my sicknesses your sicknesses our pain disease infirmities yes he was beaten with a cat and nine tail upon his back his flesh was ripped from his back mingled with his blood on the floor according to medical doctors there are 39 major sicknesses and pain and disease in a world today Day. but my friends today is your day for a miracle let me go a bit further the God who created man out of dust and breathed into his nostrils and man became a living soul he knows every part every bone every marrow every joint every organ every kidney every part of your body just like the man who designed this watch he knows every part of this watch and he knows how it's functioning today my friends God who made you knows you more than you know yourself Self. There is no big deal or no big thing for him to do a miracle. As I send for the anointing, I know many are already receiving the healing. Those who are demon possessed and those harassing demons are harassing a command them to go right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, right now in the name of Jesus. Right now, be healed in the name of Jesus. Be set free by the power of the Holy Spirit. I see many are healed, many are saved, many are delivered, many are set free from all manner of sicknesses and pain and disease and infirmities and evil and every work of darkness beloved and friends it is a power of god it's a work of the holy spirit let's give him a big hand write me text me call me let me know what god has done for you go back and check with the doctors you are here you are here today in the mighty name of jesus the person with the growth in the stomach the growth is gone the person with cancer aids COVID, it is gone today the person with a shut down kidney god has worked a miracle the person with a swinge of a liver and a heart with a hole, God has worked a miracle. The person with a migraine headache it is gone in Jesus' name. Let's give him a big hand to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. My friends, it has been a great joy and privilege to be here this afternoon to minister the word of God. I love you very much in the love of God. Do have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next session by the grace of God in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. I love you very much in the love of God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God.